So I wanted to make this video because I want to make videos and I want to make them about certain things, but I don't really know where to start. But what I do know is photography. So we're going to give this a little try, see what we can get out of this. But yeah, right now I'm, um, I go to SAIC. I'm in art school currently in Chicago. It's beautiful Chicago here. And I've hit a creative block recently. See if we can get some leading lines here. I like the, the lines there. But I've hit a creative block in the last three or four, six months it feels like, honestly. And it's hard, it's hard for me to talk at the same time as shoot. Um, I haven't really been feeling inspired. And when I do feel inspired, I would say I kind of get arrested by fear of, I have this idea that no matter what, I won't be able to produce something of quality that I'm kind of wasting my time. I don't really know, but I uh, walk into a meeting I got at 8.30, and so I'm gonna kind of just shoot around and see what, see what we can make, because I haven't taken photos in, I remember the last time I just went out and decided to take some photos. So, you're gonna be a part of the process here. You know, my mom, she's a photographer and she was kind of a large inspiration for me as to how I first got into missed it. It's kind of a large inspiration as to how I first got into photography. Um, she really showed me the ropes, the ins and outs of really a lot of what I know now. I like the inside here, it looks nice. I don't know if you can see here, but I've got these blue lines. They help me see if something's in focus. I only shoot in manual focus these days. Um, <laughs> mainly because I just don't know the settings with this thing. But, we're gonna see here again now. This nice open space. Yeah, as I was saying, my mom taught me how to take photos. And, I don't know, it's always been really close to home. And when something's so close to home, when you have a passion, when I'm not in a good mental state, sometimes other things kinda, they fall short. Other things kinda go, up, go awry when my mental health is not not great. So I'm gonna try to do better at that. Try to, I don't know, mitigate that a bit better. Let's see if we can change this up a bit. Yeah, that's a little better. This is new. They just added all this stuff. The new fountain there. I'm using a GH5 Lumix. Panasonic Lumix GH5. I've had this for about 
ooh, six years now. It's really been really nice. It's really, uh, I'm, I'm happy with it so far. The lens I'm using is a 12 to 35 millimeter. Uh, don't remember my aperture. Whatever. As you can tell, my approach with photography is very, um, free flowing. Very, I'll kind of just go with what works. Very self taught. Hence why I'm at school for photo right now. Oh, yeah, back to the story with my mom. You know, one thing my mom told me was with digital photography, you can take, I don't know, a thousand photos in a day if you really wanted to. And that's what I see happen a lot is someone will have a photo and then they'll go crazy on the shutter. And yeah, it works if you're doing a high activity, maybe like you see a unicorn or something and you wanna capture that moment. I, I understand, but my mom told me to treat every photo as if it was a dollar. And that kind of helped me to really save the quality of the photograph. And think about, you know, whether the photo is really worth it. But, yeah, it's been a while. I like the light, I like the overcast light. I find that they're the best days to shoot because you're not going to have blown out highlights or, you know, golden hour is always great. Got a bus going by. favorite parts about photography is the editing and I'll run these photos over over the top of this video as I shoot obviously but I love editing because you don't actually know um, if you've got something you could always look back I think that'll be pretty cool I think you can always look back and see if your photo is you know well exposed and focused all that stuff but Really, the magic happens, and, and so there's a, there's sirens going by. It's just Chicago, but really, the magic happens in editing. In editing, you can sit down and really like fall in love with a photo. Sometimes I see a photo and I just decide to let it go. Like you, you know when a photo is going to be good or not. You can try to like get your last minute shot, but for the most part, you, you kind of know when you have ample time or not to capture a photo. This is cool. It's a cool truck.
first shot at this video. So we'll see if it even looks good. I might have to uh, completely give up on the, the way I'm filming it now. But hopefully there's a good amount of light and everything. I like to um, wrap my, my, uh, I guess my necklace, my, I don't know what it's called, my, my strap, my camera strap around my hand when I shoot because I often find when it's around my neck, it gets very limiting. And with this, I can go free form. And it's a little more discreet. I mean, <laughs> this strap obviously doesn't help, but. Um, when it's just like on my neck so close, it just doesn't feel right. And this is secure. This will be cool, these lights. the biker or the person I'll set up if I know someone's coming from this way I'll set up and I'll pose here and when someone's coming along as soon as they walk into frame I'll shoot because yeah you can take a photo of someone when they know that you're taking a photo that works that's fine but really Candid is when they don't have no idea you took the photo. Sometimes they'll never know if you took the photo unless, you know, I just took a photo of a guy on a bike. That guy's never gonna know I took his photo unless I catch up to him, chase him down and say, hey, I took your photo, you wanna see? So, you know, I find that aspect of photography really interesting too. You know, there's been some lawsuits historically about can you take photos of strangers in public spaces? You know, the idea of like, oh, this is cool, hold on a sec. Let's change my ISO. I like that. I think that'll be cool. Alright. Hats. Seven forty. Pretty good time.
was a little spray and pray there. I'll admit, it happens. I do want to get a bus photo of someone in the bus. Might be a little difficult. See, this is a moment where I don't have a lens quite wide enough for the shot I want. But we can crop it down. Crop it down a little bit. Oh, this is cool. King. I hope everything is, I hope you can see everything. shoot more. It's a very simple thing. Very easy thing to do. If I like walking and exploring. Shooting opens up my mind and my, my eye, really. I have a different perspective. That's why I like photography too. You just get a different perspective in the city and the place that you, that you inhabit. Rather than rushing from A to B that I think so many people do an opportunity to think about the world a bit differently. Like, look at this. Let's see if I can get this real quick.
little creepy. I like it. I like it. Quick snap. Thinking whether or not to go. Let's stay. Thinking whether or not to cross over at all. I'm actually gonna run over here. Let's see if I can post up. Try to grab this bus coming by. Gentlemen, light's gonna change over pretty soon. The bus is gonna be coming around this way. All right, I guess we're going up this street. We're chasing buses here. bus turns, that would be hilarious. Alright, it's coming. She's coming. That one was really just spraying and praying. Oh, shutter was too slow. That's fine. I shoot only manual a lot of the time, which I should probably change in moments like that. I just like to prioritize a low ISO. For anyone who knows about photography, a low ISO means less noise in your photograph. When it's dark and you see a little grainy photos, not film grain either, people love film grain, but digital grain, noise is what they call it. Not really something people enjoy to look at, I have found. Sometimes you can shoot. It's kind of cool. Yeah. See? See a photo? It's kind of cool, and then maybe not. quite like the peeking in at windows, catching people. There's something cool over there I want to check out. Right. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything here going on. This is kind of cool. Chicago is an interesting city, at least downtown, I found, because it's either absolutely packed at times. I'm sure on, over on state it's packed, but in areas like this, it's just like kind of a ghost town sometimes, which leaves for really interesting photographs. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, look at this car. I sometimes think I'm a better editor than I am a photographer because a lot of my photos 
or underexposed or overexposed and then I'm able to overcorrect and make a really dramatic look, which isn't always wanted. I kind of overly edit my photos sometimes. But I, mean, I, I found that the better of a photographer I get, the better my photos turn out. It's pretty cool. Come on in here. is better when they have people in them. That wasn't a very cool bus. so dark in there. Huh. Look at this. Uh. Wow. <laughs> All right. What's going on over here? focus and then I can correct it later. Was not a focus, but whatever. We'll move on. I'm gonna climb up on this thing. Let's see what we got here. Let me do this. Yeah. bit of a vantage point. Whoa. The window 
windows are just so dirty.
call it here. Yeah, I think that's about that. So anyway, this was fun. Um, and yeah, that's that. So anyway, have a good day. Peace.